Hi guys, I'm Joe the Multiboxer, and we're back with another IS Boxer 2 Alpha video. This time I'm going to take you through a little bit of new modules, and we're going to do some World of Warcraft gameplay. So here we go, let's get right to it. Um, first of all, I'll show you, I've already got a team configured with three characters. I've shown you how to add them from World of Warcraft in a previous video, so I'm not going to worry about that in this video. Um, and I've also already installed the video effects layout module. Uh, which again I've shown you in another video um, and that has already been configured to use DX nothing. So with that in mind let's start by installing some new modules. Uh, so this the module list is going to get an update pretty soon. Um, it's getting a little unwieldy with uh, even this amount of modules but imagine uh, later on with lots more modules it's, it's going to be impossible to use like this. Um, so anyway, that'll get fixed up. Um, audio module, we're going to install that. It adjusts audio levels based on active and inactive windows. Uh, performance module adjusts frame rate, that's FPS, based on active and inactive windows. Uh, skip that one. You don't need that one uh, for World of Warcraft, at least for now. Core. <clears throat> has ISFUX2 functionality including hotkey and broadcasting toggles, so we'll use that. Uh, wow Party implements follow and assist um, and uh, interact functionality using ISFUX2 add-on for World of Warcraft. Um, automatically generates the in-game macros for that. And Basic Combat, an ISFUX2 style implementation of ISFUX1 mapped keys. And that's going to include um, the one through equals uh, row of uh, bindings automatically with um, automatic assist and broadcast uh, by default. So here we go, we've got the modules installed, um, but once you install them they don't automatically load. Um, so you tick these boxes and then the next time you load IS Fox they'll, they'll already be loaded, but um, since we've just now loaded them, uh, installed them, they're not loading this time automatically. So um, we're going to leave the configuration default for all of these new modules and later on I'll show you a little bit about combats, uh, maps, and hotbars. Um, so we're going to see just the defaults in the game there. Otherwise, let's go to the hotkeys and the game key bindings. Now when, when you're first turning on the modules, you may have to um, re uh, untick and tick a module again. And that's just going to reload the engine and make sure all of these are actually loaded in there. Um, also, if you restart IS Boxer 2 um, with those all auto loading, that'll all get filled in. Um, so there's no hotkeys configured by default at the moment. They You manually fill these in. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Which is tedious, that'll, that'll, those will get filled in automatically later on. Um, so master broadcasting toggle in IS Boxer 1, that's Shift-Alt-R, Shift-Alt-M for master hotkey toggle. Now this tick box over here, um, most of these don't have a tick box because they're controlled by the master hotkey toggle. Um, since these are not toggled by the master hotkey toggle, you can choose to have them enabled or deep, uh, disabled permanently. So um, we're going to use both of those and then we're going to set follow, assist, and interact. Um, I'm going to use Alt-J um, in-game. I've got my interact key set to J. Um, so on the game key bindings tab, you fill in what you've got set in the game, and the game key binding screen um, is set to J. So that is all the configuration we need to do to get started. And let's go ahead and launch the team. So I'm going to get into the game and um, We'll show you from there. Okay, so here we are in the game, and um, you'll have to bear with me just a little bit since the computer I'm using to record this um, is not powerful enough to record video and multi-box at the same time. <laughs> so it's going to lag just um, just a little bit more than it, uh, than it should. Um, so the idea here is... Um, I mean, all the elements here are starting up in the corner, and we don't want them to be mashed up in the corner. So we'll place them kind of where we would like them to be, and then we can save um, their position. So we've got the IS Boxer 2 button here, um, the hotkey and key maps toggles. 
Um, so on each thing, you, you can save its placement. So over here, you click the IS Boxer icon, save placement, save placement, save placement. And that stores it to what's called the GUI profile. Now the GUI profile, it's going to be temporary because we haven't um, saved the whole profile. But if we go into the settings, um, let me uh, make this a little bigger. If we go into the settings, and excuse this little bug here, um, under the GUI tab, it'll show you the active GUI profile, which is default. Um, and each of these windows is going to use the default GUI profile. So if I click push, um, that is going to copy the layout to each of the other windows. So now they're all positioned over here instead of all bunched up in the corner together. Um, so after I push, that also saves it permanently in IS Boxer 2. So the next time I launch the team, um, it'll come up just like this. Um, so at the moment, by default, whoops, by default, um, the GUI edit mode is enabled. So I'll untick that, um, and that sends away the title bars on most of the windows except IS Boxer 2 Audio. I can just close that when I'm done with it. Um, if you want, you can um, adjust the inactive volume, so that way if you mouse out of the window, you still hear that uh, window at 20% or whatever you want it at. Um, but I'm going to leave mine at 100 and 0 on each of the windows, um, and I'm actually just going to get that out of the way in each window. Alright, and then it, again, in each window you can um, Let's unset the GUI mode, and that'll be synced in a, uh, a new version later on. But right now, that uh, you do it in each window to correct that. All right, make sure my guys aren't sitting. So I'm, that's the broadcasting toggle. When you use that, you see the screens um, kind of adjust to a more yellowed tint. Um, that's to help indicate that broadcasting is on, um, and key maps. Um, this is the hotkeys toggle, so all the toggles that you saw, or all the hotkeys you saw that weren't tied directly to um, the master hotkey toggle. I mean, the ones that didn't have that checkbox, those are the ones that toggle um, with that there. So now I can hit Alt F and they automatically follow. Um, I can um, press Alt A and they'll pick up the target, so I've already got this thing targeted. Press Alt A. And my other windows both pick up the target. Um, and of course, I can go up and attack something. I'll sneak up behind this spy. Press 1. I might have to get them a little closer. There we go. Now you can see. Press 1, and they all start attacking. Uh, and then looting. Um, Alt-J was my interact. So if I am able to do that, J, everybody should interact, and then we can follow again. Um, remember that World of Warcraft, when you do a melee swing, it breaks your auto-follow, so you have to press your follow hockey again. Uh, so this was the performance module window right there. Um, you can watch uh, your FPS, your system RAM, your process memory usage. Again, you can hide that. Um, you don't have to have this showing, but this, this is shown by the performance module by default right now. Later on it'll be like a tick box in the uh, configuration whether you want that to be shown or not. Um, but it can be pretty useful to know how you're performing. Um, so now that I've fought something, we can check out the um, debugging. Let me make this a bit bigger. Uh, so here's the debugging tool tips, um, and it says that um, it's got some numbers in here. Like, it shows what it does. Um, targets equals all, so it tells me that it's sending one to every window, and auto assist equals true means um, that the auto assist is enabled. So if I walk up and I just press one, these guys will all attack the goblin assassin. So they started out by um, doing the assist and then doing this attack. So again, you don't have to have that bar showing. Um, that is just a default um, bar. So you can close that and it's not in the way. And you can actually 
still attack things. Okay. Um, so that kind of shows you how that all works. Um, I tested out the buttons that we configured and uh, took very little configuration other than just turning on the modules. So let's go back in IS Boxer 2 and um, let's check out combat maps because you can set up um, your own hotbars. Hotbars are pretty simple. It's just you um, you have to name them, but otherwise you add buttons, and a button is just the combat map name. So we can add a combat map. Let me show you. Combat map, um, and we'll call it um, my combat map. We'll have it show my combat map, and then category combat. So here it's got pretty much the options that were available in IS Boxer 1. So it's got the reset mode and reset time, um, which would be under the advanced tab in IS Boxer. Um, steps, we're going to need a step. Uh, so let's get that in there. Uh, and this is basically what's in IS Boxer 1 as well. Uh, so this defaults to on whether you want the step enabled, but um, you can turn it off. IS Boxer 2 has something very similar. Anyway, um, you also have a cooldown option, um, which was not in IS Boxer 1. But Actions is going to tell it what keys you want to press. And again, later on, this will be shown, uh, this will be helped, you'll be helped through this with like a wizard and stuff like that. Uh, so this would be like creating a mapped key manually, uh, adding your step, adding your uh, keystroke action. So we'll have this send um, one. I'm not very. I don't. I've only got so many abilities to work with here, and we'll say all, and we'll make it do round robin. Um, also with auto assist. So that's all you have to do to make something that sends a key to other windows. So now we've got a combat map. Um, and of course I'll have to save this before it um, does anything. But um, now we can use this in the hotbar. So the combat map name is going to be the code name from right here. So we'll just go ahead and copy that. And then we'll give this a name. So the code name is kind of an internal name just to reference everything by. And then you can change the display name um, anytime you want. This is what's going to be shown. Um, let's see. Let me bring up one that has the bar up still. Uh, so it says display name up top and code name on the little bottom thing there. I'll make it a little bigger. Um, so it shows code name and display name there. But the display name would be shown. Um, to the user most of the time, and code name would be kind of an internal um, name, so you can refer to it later. Anyway, use the combat map. Um, later on, we'll probably have a drop down box or something uh, for this. But we'll give the hotbar a name my hotbar. And we'll give it my hotbar display name. And that's going to be shown on the title of the um, bar. So over here, if we GUI edit mode. That's going to be shown right here. So this one's display name is test, which is kind of lame. Um, <laughs> and you don't really have to give it a category. That's not going to be used yet, but would be shown um, like if you had a bunch of categories, then you'd have a list of one category over here and one category over there. Something like that. <clears throat> so enable. We're going to turn on our hotbar. And uh, vertical is if you've got a bunch of buttons and you want them to go up and down instead of side to side. Um, right now, it would be horizontal, so it'll just go left to right um, with whatever combat maps we put in here. Um, so we can also add in combat one right next to it, which is um, 
the first button here. Combat one. So this uh, hot bar is going to have two buttons on it, and uh, I guess we'll go ahead and make it vertical, just for fun. And then we can save. Now at the moment, um, you're going to have to relaunch your IS Boxer 2 team in order for those changes to take effect, um, which is not ideal. Um, and we'll be working on that later, but uh, for now, that's the deal. Uh, so once we restart, we're going to have more bars. So I'm going to go ahead and restart um, not IS Boxer 2 itself, but the team. Actually, let me show you, does this have the hotkeys yet? No hotkey yet. Um, reload basic combat. And then it may, my combat map, there we go. Um, so I'll be able to press Q in order to um, send one to everyone with round robin enabled instead of um, everybody at a time. Um, so there's that. And then I'm going to relaunch the team. I do actually have to close the game windows and restart the team, unfortunately. So I'm going to close Iceboxer 2 team from the icon here. And I'm going to relaunch, and we'll be back in just a minute. So fortunately, I can show you this part straight from the login screen. So here's our new hot bar. I'll move it. Uh, and then... Um, so you can see that we've got com my combat map as we configured in IS Boxer 2 launcher, and we've got combat one, the same one that's over here. Um, so you can press either of these buttons, and they both um, animate together. And of course, uh, the round robin version there. So that's basically how you get started uh, playing World of Warcraft with IS Boxer 2, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, as we get more beta testers and, and feedback and questions about how to do this and that, um, we'll get answers and we'll get uh, updates and, and um, we'll make it really nice to nice to use. It's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be freaking awesome. I promise. <laughs> All right. See you guys online.